Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday, November 3rd, Election Day. If you haven't voted already, folks, get out there and vote today. Do your civic duty. Uh, make your vote count. S&P's market making it count to start things off. Positive territory. S&P's up 36 points, or 1.1% in the green, trading at 3337 Got the Nasdaq up 69 points at 11,133. The Dow up 376 points, 27,172. You're now more than 1,000 Dow points from where we were early on Friday trading. Crude trading higher up $1.28 at $38.09. You get the gold contract catching a bit up $16 at $19.08. Silver up 37 cents at $24.41. And we got a little bit of lower price and higher yield in the notes and bonds. The 10 year right now down six ticks at one. 3803. You got the 30 year up, excuse me, down, down. 10 year down six ticks, 30 year down 22 ticks at 172.03. And why not? We'll start it off with, I'm going to start it off with those yields. The 10 year right now, 0.876%. The yield on the 10 year, the 30 year talking about 1.65% with an elevated yield ahead of the U.S. election. What else we got going on, folks? Jumping around to some of the stories. And uh, I pulled up here. Where are we? There we are. I wanted to finish this. I talked about it real briefly in the final segment of my program. But if you're just tuning in, record turnout in a big way. Florida already at 93 percent of its entire turnout in 2016. I mean, look at these look at these Western states. Texas, 9.7 million early votes. They only had 8.9 million in all of 2016. And we're still just starting Election Day out there. Uh, Washington, Oregon, Nevada, big numbers across the board. Georgia, 94 percent. Tennessee, North Carolina as well. I was talking about Florida as well. So we got a bunch of Florida listeners out there uh, in Florida. So they've already started counting all of the ballots in Florida. They're going to be some of the first results that Floridians are going to see out there in terms of the early numbers. State law requires county election officials to report all early voting and already tabulated vote by mail results within 30 minutes after the elections close. So uh, polls close at 7 p.m. in Florida. They do include the panhandle, which is an hour difference. So you're going to have 7, 8, 830. Uh, and then they're going to publish every 45 minutes after that as they get results from precincts coming in to the state. Florida going to be one of the earliest states out there. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin only starting their ballots to be counted today. Should be an exciting day in the markets, folks. Stay tuned. Larry Pesimento coming up next. And get out there and vote if you haven't done so already. We'll be right back, folks.